These Dell computers have given me no end of trouble when it comes to reinstalling an operating system from a Windows 11 boot USB. Um, so I have a bootable USB that I've created from the Microsoft uh, Download Center um, online, and which any of you can create easily enough. Um, I'm doing it an old-fashioned way, I suppose. I think nowadays there are easier ways to install Windows 11 over the network, or maybe you're upgrading from Windows 10. Um, but I'm downloading on a USB stick and I'm gonna boot it from a USB. Uh, but while I've been setting this up, I've noticed that um, there are so many issues with this BIOS. There are so many options, and I'll zoom in here just so we can take a closer look. Um, a lot of different menus, uh, and there are a few on here that I will call out as uh, we proceed through this, this tutorial. Um, but I, I have to spend um, about a couple hours um, going through all the menus and fiddling with uh, settings and default settings um, to try and get it to recognize, first of all, recognize my USB stick um, and then fiddle with the boot options to make sure that my USB stick is the one that's booted from and not the internal hard drive from the laptop. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock. These are locked with a BIOS password. Um, yours probably will not be. Um, so I'll go ahead and unlock that and then we'll come back. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I've unlocked it and then I'm going to remove the admin password. So in case some of you have uh, locks on your BIOS, um, just go under here under security admin password and then you're gonna enter your old password. It says password set, leave the new password and confirm new password blank, hit okay. Um, and then now it's not set. So, so you're all set there. Um, let's go to general. So this is where now that you've removed the password, you can go to restore settings and you're going to go to factory settings. You don't want to go to BIOS defaults. BIOS defaults, um, you'll end up with an error where Windows will say that the computer will say that you don't have, uh, this computer just doesn't meet the requirements to install Windows 11. And that's because BIOS defaults, um, I think something in there either doesn't have the right UEFI settings or the TPM 2.0 settings aren't, um, aren't available or the uh, secure boot isn't set to the right setting. Um, however the case may be, uh, BIOS defaults will give you that error. Um, when this computer, this is a Dell Latitude 3300, is perfectly capable of installing Windows 11. Uh, so I know the computer can do it. I know it was released in 2019. I know that this hardware is, is suitable. Um, so it can be a little confusing if you do hit that Windows error saying your computer doesn't meet the hardware requirements. That's not true. It's in the BIOS. So uh, just be aware that that error message can be a little misleading. So bottom line, hit factory settings here. Okay, we'll click through these menus. Um, it'll restart and then we'll come back. Okay, we're hitting F2 to go into BIOS again. Okay, so here's where you're gonna make a few changes. Secure boot, this will not work. So this is one of the requirements for Windows 11, but um, if you're going to boot from a USB like I am, um, secure boot will not allow you to do that. Um, and the manufacturers of this computer of Dell and uh, Microsoft, they know that in some cases you will have to turn off secure boot. So that's okay. Um, and then you're gonna to go to system configuration, um, USB configuration, enable USB boot support. So again, this is specific for those of you that are booting from USB. And now we're going to go to boot sequence. So uh, just to recap, right? We first removed the admin password. Um, we restored it to factory BIOS settings. Uh, we restarted it and then um, went under secure boot and uh, disable secure boot um, under USB configuration, we enabled that. And now we're going to remove all the other boot options. So this is booting from the internal hard drive. You don't want that. So this has Windows 10 installed on it. I don't want to boot from Windows 10. I'm gonna remove that option. Okay, um, this as well, booting from the NIC. Uh, no, I don't want that either. So that is about it. Okay, we're gonna hit apply. Okay. 
okay and they're going to plug in the usb all right so that's it now notice that the boot sequence is completely blank you don't have to it doesn't have to display usb up here um, leave it completely blank and you're fine okay we're gonna hit exit and it's going to restart and it's going to automatically boot up into the Windows 11 start sequence. It's gonna boot from my USB stick. Um, and something to note, so if you end up, um, if, let's say you don't trust it, right? And when it boots up again, you go back into the BIOS, um, it'll reset, like it's not gonna work. Um, so basically you kind of have to trust it, even though there's nothing here in the boot sequence, um, you kind of have to just believe. So uh, go through those steps that we outlined, and then we're gonna hit exit, and I'll show you what happens when it starts up again. Okay, this is good. So we see the Dell symbol. We don't see anything about disk checking. That's an error message you'll see. Once you see that like solid spinning um, uh, disk circle there, um, that means that you're in the right track. You're going to hit the Windows um, startup. Exactly, so this is, this is um, exactly what we want. Um, keep in mind, this took me a couple hours of troubleshooting. I hope this helps somebody out there who's struggling with either Dell's or this specific model, uh, the Dell Latitude 3300.